It's 9 a.m. on the 15th of June. For the first time, our film light illuminates the private lives of the beavers. In front of us is a ball of wet fur. The beaver family is fast asleep. Beavers always sleep through the day. We wanted to be sure not to miss anything. That's why we went into the hideout early. 5 p.m. After six hours of waiting in the dark, the beavers wake up. Ready, set, and go. The spotlights shine only on the animals, we remain hidden behind the lamps in the darkness. The beaver is slow to leave the realm of dreams. She's drowsy but has time to wake up, because for thousands of years beavers have felt absolutely safe inside their lodge. Their instinct tells them that no enemy can enter here. The living room measures 1.3 meters in diameter and is about 80 centimeters high. The beaver mother has plenty of room with her kits. At two and a half weeks old, the beaver kit cannot yet keep its warming fur in order by itself. The female beaver cleans the kit's fur with her hands and teeth. Grooming has a social function. It is the expression of a strong bond between the parents and the beaver kits. The strikingly large female is certainly an experienced mother. The beaver trowel bears the scar of a big fight. After 12 hours of sleep, the mother is hungry, she goes out for breakfast. The kit follows her, and although it can already swim well, it doesn't leave the lodge, it stays in the water chamber. The next family member to introduce himself is the father. As long as the kits are small, Father Beaver has to live outside. The mother only tolerates short family visits. Father Beaver appears regularly in the evening to clean himself. Taking care of their fur is very important for beavers. Therefore, the animals groom themselves very thoroughly. With the claws of their front and hind feet, they comb and groom the thick undercoat that protects the beaver's body from water and thus from hypothermia. It was this wonderfully soft fur that almost cost the beaver species their life. For almost three centuries, beavers were mercilessly hunted for their expensive fur. World cities like Montreal and Quebec owe their foundation to the trade in beaver pelts. Here the beaver pelt became the currency, the benchmark for all other coveted trade objects. At the beginning of our century, the once 60 million beavers of North America were almost extinct. With this depletion, the fur trade had destroyed the very basis of its existence. Only now were the voices of conservationists heard. Hunting beavers was banned. With the same dedication and seriousness as the beaver father, the little one also preens himself. The cleaning movements are innate to the beavers, only the routine is missing. Struggling to keep his balance, he reaches for his milk belly to loosen the undercoat with his teeth. The way it sits is remarkable. The trowel-shaped tail is folded forward and the beaver sits on it as if on a built-in chair. With all animal children, one can observe that the behavioral patterns that are important in later life are trained playfully. The good-natured father is not bothered by the efforts of his offspring, 
who is practicing building a castle on his tail. Father Beaver thinks it is time to clean up the living room. Cleaning the house is quickly done, the padding of the living room is rearranged, loosened up and renewed if necessary. It's the second young beaver. Finally we get to see the whole family. In the spacious beaver castle, the cubs have many opportunities to play and splash around. But for resting they seek out the living room. Even though the rooms in the beaver lodges vary in size and layout, there is always a dry living chamber and this water chamber. The female beaver has returned with twigs and is having breakfast of bark in the water chamber, which is the entrance and exit, but also the play and feeding room. The bark of the aspen seems to be very tasty for the beaver. But bark is difficult to digest and not very nutritious. An adult beaver therefore needs several tons of wood per year, of which it only eats the bark. The animals like to take their food into the water chamber of the lodge to eat here, protected and in peace. But the peace and quiet is over when the young ones play in the water and unabashedly climb all over their mother's breakfast. The little beavers take a lively interest in everything the mother does or brings along. Here we are witnessing the moment when the infant becomes a child. He tries his first green leaf. He tries to chew and swallow but not exactly with relish. The first leaf is always difficult to swallow. At two and a half weeks old, the little beaver has probably taken on a bit too much. At his age, the adult food is still quite tough for him, because the little ones are not weaned from their mother's milk until they are eight weeks old. The film is full. We turn off the lights and have to change it. We know the drill already. Whenever the animals are most active, the film is already full. It has to run like clockwork in the dark confines of the hideout. Brushing, checking the film stage, and putting in a new film. The sensitive technology, far away from any civilization in the forests of Canada. In front of us is the beaver family, above us dirt and mud. We've made it. Just as the beaver mother enters the living room, we're ready for action. Now it's the kid's turn. The fact that the mother's fur is wet doesn't bother young beavers, especially when they're drinking. The young beaver works on the mother's breast with its hands, which stimulates the flow of milk. After carrying the babies for about a hundred days, the kits are born in May with open eyes and thick fur. For two months they are fed the rich beaver milk, which contains twice as much fat and four times as much protein as cow's milk. At the age of two or three, they will start their own family and have cubs of their own, two to four a year. Thanks to modern protection regulations, the little beavers have a chance to live up to 15 years again, but much of the beaver's habitat has been taken away. They will never again be as numerous in North America as they were before the arrival of the white man.
We only hear the soft noise of our camera and the comforting smacking of the milk-sucking beavers. In the shelter of the beaver lodge, the mother suckles her young. It's a picture of peace and now the female beaver has fallen asleep.